Hello mga kawamat! In this video lesson, we'll discuss solving problems involving correlation analysis. But before we proceed to our discussion, don't forget to like this video lesson and subscribe na rin po kayo. In correlation, it is used, uh, a correlation is used to determine the exe uh, existence, strength, and direction of the relationship between two variables. Correlation coefficient, denoted as R, is a number between negative and positive one that describes both the strength and the direction of the correlation. In symbol, we write R is greater than or equal to negative one, but less than or equal to one. So, for example, in preparation for the coming board meeting, the management of ABC fashion collected the monthly advertising expenses and sales for the past 12 months. What can you say about the relationship between the advertising expenses and sales of the company? As you can see on the table, that is the uh, ABC fashion monthly advertising expenses and the monthly sales. Now, the question is, what can you say about the relationship between the advertising expenses and the sales of the company? Since our data are coming from two sets of variables, so we are dealing with bivariate data. So to determine the relationship between uh, these variables, we can again use the scatter plot. Okay, so here, using the scatter plot, we're going to use the Microsoft Excel. Okay, para malaman natin yung direction ng scatter plot natin, so gagamit tayo dito ng Microsoft Excel. So, ang gagawin lang natin, open lang natin yung Microsoft Excel natin. Okay, lakihan ko lang. So, na, as you can see class, na-type ko na dito yung data na kailangan natin. So, ang gagawin nyo lang, ah, uh, I-highlight nyo lang okay, yung data natin and then insert para mas madali no? uh, okay, the scatter plot so pwede naman kayo mamili class kung uh, ano yung layout na gusto nyo dito meron mga sample layout na pwede nyo gamitin so kagaya nito so pwede nyo itong gamitin class so, kasi makikita nyo agad yung direction so dito pa lang makikita nyo na na yung uh, scatter plot natin, yung direction niya ay rising from left to right. So, kapag rising from left to right, ibig sabihin, positive correlation yan. Okay? Positive correlation. So, pwede yung i-edit ito. So, hindi na natin gagawin. So, yung nandito, ibig sabihin, that is the, uh, ang gagawin lang natin, okay, so yung nandito class, that is our sales. No? Ito yung sales natin. Uh, based dun sa data natin kanina at ito yung monthly expenses so pwede nyo naman i-edit to lagyan nyo ng uh, label so monthly expenses okay and then dito yung sales natin so kapag gagamit kayo ng uh, kung gusto nyo class mas mabilis nyo ma-plot yung points natin Para makita natin yung direction using the scatter plot since we are dealing with two variables. So, mas maganda gumamit tayo ng Microsoft Excel. Or, pwede rin naman, uh, imano-mano natin using the Cartesian plane. So, mag-label na lang kayo. Since, kaso, uh, masyadong ma marami, no? Hanggang 30, o no, hanggang malapit na mag-40. So, malaki yun. Kailangan equal na. Ang problema lang, hindi masyadong... Uh, accurate yung distance kapag minano-mano natin. Kaya mas maganda gumamit tayo ng Microsoft Excel. So, dito pa lang class, again, makikita na natin na yung scatter plot natin ay uh, positive correlation. Since uh, yung scatter plot, plot natin rising from left to right. So, balik tayo dun sa presentation natin. Okay, so base kanina, Again, this is a positive correlation. So, the scatter plot shows that there is a positive correlation between the advertising expenses and sales of the company. So, it means that uh, the higher the advertising expenses, the higher the sales of the company. So, the scatter plot can be used. So, kung i -re lang natin, so ginagamit natin scatter plot to, to, to determine so if, the, if there is a positive, negative, or no correlation between the two variables. 
However, if we want to determine the strength, so kung gaano kalapit, no, yung uh, yung dalawang variable natin sa isa't isa, so ano yung gagawin natin? So we have to use the coefficient of correlation. So mamaya meron tayong table na gagamitin. So the So, based on previous study, uh, video lesson natin, diniscuss natin doon how to compute the correlation or the simple correlation coefficient. Here, meron tayong gagamitin uh, na interpretation kapag na-compute na natin yung value ng R natin. ba? Diba? So, on the previous video lesson, diniscuss natin how to compute the uh, sample correlation coefficient. So, ito yung mga interpretation na pwede natin gamitin kapag gusto natin malaman or we are going to determine the strength of the relationship. So, ito yung ating interpretation. If the value of R is 1.0, that is a perfect positive correlation. If the value of your R is from 0.90 to 0.99, so yung interpretation natin dyan is very high positive correlation. From 0.70 to 0.89, that is a high positive correlation. And from 0.40 to 0.69, moderate positive correlation. And from 0.20 to 0.39, that's small positive correlation. And from negative 0.20 to, this is negative class. Okay, so edit lang natin. Okay, that's, uh, okay lang pala to. So, from negative 20 to positive 0 0.19, so, ibig sabihin, class, very small, negligible. So, pwede nga walang correlation. Okay, there is no correlation kapag yung value na nakuha natin is from negative 0 0.20 to 0 0.19 or very small correlation. And from negative 0.40 to negative 0.21, that is small positive correlation na magiging interpretation natin, from negative 0 0.70 to negative 0 0.41, that is moderate negative correlation. And from negative 0 0.90 to negative 0 0.21, that is high negative correlation. And from negative 0 0.99 to negative 0 0.91, very high negative correlation. At kapag negative 1, that is a perfect negative correlation. So based on sa previous discussion natin, uh, ano kaya yung magiging strength? no nung uh, relationship nitong dalawang variables natin between the advertising expenses and uh, the monthly sales so using the calculator so para mas mabilis gamitan din natin ng calculator to compute the uh, sample correlation coefficient okay or what we call the person product moment coefficient so tinatawag din nating person r so Tinuruan ko kayo paano gamitin yung calculator kung meron kayong function no uh, na para makuha natin yung correlation. So, gamit tayo ng calculator. So, liitan natin ito. So, first, ang gagawin natin, so, i-click lang natin yung, and then click yung number 3. Okay, then piliin natin yung number 2. And then, type natin lahat ito, no? So, sa X natin, type nyo lang, encode nyo lang lahat. So, dito, ang itatype nyo equals after nyo matype yung uh, data. So, 18 equals para bumaba. 20, uh, 24, 16, 26, 10, 16, 11, 38, 36 and 32. Okay. Then, lipat nyo sa mag-arrow uh, right lang kayo para mapunta tayo sa, y, sa dun sa value ng y. Okay. Enter nyo lang yung 32. Okay. Then, punta kayo sa pinakataas. Then, yung y naman. Yung y naman yung uh, encode natin. 21, 27, 20, 28, 17, 31, 7, 14, 14, 34, 39, and 31. Okay. So, after natin ma-encode yung X and Y natin class, pipindutin nyo lang yung AC natin. So, click nyo lang yan. 
and then mag shift tayo shift and then pindutin niyo yung 1 yung may nakalagay dito na stat pindutin niyo yung 1 and then meron kayong pagpipilian dito ang pipiliin niyo dito yung number 5 so pindutin yung 5 and then again meron kayong option dito so ang kung kailangan natin dito is yung correlation natin so yung r so pindutin natin yung 3 then equals so ano yung correlation natin 0.91 so the value of uh, coefficient correlate natin dito is 0.91 Since R is equal to 0.91, we can say that there is a very high, kasi nandito siya, no? From 0.90 to 0.99, so dito siya pasok. There is a very high positive correlation between the advertising expenses and sales of the company. So, uh, ganito natin kukunin if we want to determine the strength of the relationship between the two variables. So, uh, it, ito yung gagamitin natin. Uh, table. So, meron tayo dito for the value of R and interpretation. Okay, so, let's say we have a scenario here. Filipino employees are known for being persistent and hardworking. That is why they truly value every single cent of their salary. Here are some situations showing the relationship between the salary and spending of Filipino employee. For situation number one, there is a survey wherein the correlation coefficient R between salary and spending of employee was found to be 0.97. So, based on the table, so what will be our uh, interpretation? If that is 0.97, we can say that there is a very high positive correlation between the salary and spending of employees. Ibig sabihin class, so habang lumalaki yung sahod natin, malaki rin yung gastos natin. Lumalaki yung gastos natin. Kung baga, naka, uh, parallel yung exp uh, expenses natin dun sa kinikita natin. Kung uh, maliit lang yung sinesweldo natin, so mabab, dapat maliit lang, uh, tip, mas tipid tayo. No? Uh, dapat budgeted natin yung sweldo natin. So, kaya sa ano natin, dito it was found out that 0.97% very high positive correlation. So, ibig sabihin, uh, mas malaki yung sweldo, mas malaki yung gastusin mo rin. At kapag dumalaki rin yung sweldo talaga, uh, dumadami na rin talaga yung expenses. So, that is for situation number one. Situation number two, in other survey, the correlation coefficient are between salary and spending of employee was found to be 0.38. So, Uh, what will be our interpretation? There is a small positive correlation between the salary and spending of employees. So, kasi pasok siya dito sa uh, from 0.20 to 0.39. So, small positive correlation lang. Still positive correlation pa rin class. So, ibig sabihin, may impact rin talaga yung uh, salary natin doon sa paggastos natin. Okay, so may connection talaga yung sinisweldo natin doon sa gastusin natin. Another, situation number three, in another survey, the correlation coefficient R between the salary and spending of employee was found to be negative 0.81. So, saan siya? Dito, no? From negative 0.81. So, dito. Dito siya papasok. Negative 0.90 to negative 0.71. So, ibig sabihin, there is a high negative correlation between salary and spending spending of employees. So, kabalik na rin dun sa uh, unat pangalawang situation natin, ibig sabihin nito negative, uh, correla uh, high negative correlation sinasabi dito na walang, uh, hindi connected. So, hindi related yung dalawa. Uh, yung salary sa yung gastusin. Yun ang sinasabi dito. So, uh, sumeldo ka man ng malaki, so, nasa sa iyo kung gumastos ka ng malaki o hindi o magtipid. So, kasi high negative correlation. Hindi kagaya kanina na kung malaki yung sweldo mo, malaki din yung expenses mo. Dito, uh, sinasabi na hindi sila related sa isa-isa. Sa, sa isa't isa. Kasi high negative correlation. So, parang uh, yung salary hindi siya related sa uh, paggastos no? ng isang employee. In situation number 4, 
Uh, the correlation coefficient between salary and spending of employee was found to be negative 0.19. So, saan siya pasok, no? Negative 0.19. So, here, very small or negligible. So, ibig sabihin, class, since yan ay, okay, dito nga siya pasok, pwede ng very ne uh, weak negative correlation or no correlation at all, no? Wala ta, hindi related daw yung salary sa as uh, pag-spend ng isang employee. So, hindi sila related. Kaya, uh, weak negative correlation. Kapag ito yung nakuha natin. Alright? So, ganito natin kukunin yung uh, pa, kung paano natin i-interpret yung na-compute nating uh, value ng uh, correlation coefficient natin. So, pwede nyo gamitin yung table na to. Kung ano yung ma-compute natin value ng R. So, ito yung corresponding interpretation nila. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell button para updated kayo for more video tutorial. This is your guide in learning your math lesson, your WOW Math channel.